Davis, the Davis academic system is like a goddamn pressure cooker. At Davis High, it's a, it's a really, really, I mean, it's, it's so predominant that it's not like a weird thing to talk, it's not a weird thing to hear people talking about, you know, oh, yeah, I got, I got some Adderall from, I mean, a lot, I feel like a lot of people get prescriptions so that they can sell it. I mean, specifically at Davis High, like I've heard, I, I know a couple guys who've gotten them. And yeah, I mean, people ask me all the time for it, and I, I, I personally don't, I don't sell prescription drugs. That's not the, that's not the road I want to go down. But if I wanted to, I totally could. I guess the pressure from like peers and parents at DHS, you know, like because it's so academically rigorous, pushes students to like take illegal measures to go to like Adderall uh, before standardized testing, or even like during school or studying before standardized testings, like the ACT or the SAT. Uh, my friends and I would take them prior to the test to do better, I guess. At Davis, with the, you know, with the expectations, a lot of people turn to Adderall as a way to I mean, it's it's a performing enhancing drug. There's no way around it. It's this it's the same. People people in school, high school students take Adderall for the same reason. You know, Lance Armstrong took whatever he took to, to do what he was doing better. And I mean I mean school school I think public school is in kind of the same doping racket that a lot of you know major league sports are. I know definitely have Da Vinci students who didn't try and um, who didn't study for the SATs and just took Adderall hoping that it would like kind of save them. For some kids, it's like you know, it's just saving them from the brink of expulsion. You know, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna flunk out, but like I felt like what I wanted to achieve academically and what I could achieve academically were two different things. <laughs>